Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a kawaii taco painting. Before we get started, I want to mention that the name of this channel is Rainbow Parrot Art. And I have so many super fun art tutorials and art lessons on this channel, so be sure to stick around and check them out. For today's project, I'm using 11 by 14 inch multimedia paper. I'm taping my paper down to my work surface, but you don't have to do this unless you want to. I'm using white, pink, and red acrylic paint for my background. I'm taking a one inch flat brush and spreading some white paint into the middle of my paper. Notice how I'm using gentle back and forth brush strokes. Be sure not to scrub your brush by pushing down too hard as this will ruin the bristles of your paintbrush. If your paint is thick like mine, you may want to dip your brush in the water and then keep painting. This extra bit of water on your brush will help the paint spread more smoothly and it also makes it easier to blend. When you are ready to switch colors, I recommend grabbing a tissue. Gently pinch the brush inside the tissue and windshield wiper it back and forth. Once you have wiped off your brush, you can grab a new color. I'm adding the pink paint right on top of the white paint to make a very light pink. I want this color to be even lighter, so I'm going to add some more white paint right on top. I'm happy with this color, so now I'm going to start adding the darker pink color around the edges. Then on the very edges of my paper, I'm using red paint. I'm spending some extra time adding little bits of water and blending the edges of where these colors meet. That way there is a smooth transition from one color to another. Once you're done painting your background, you can dip your brush in the water, then gently pitch it inside a tissue and windshield wiper it back and forth. This way, most of the paint comes off onto the tissue, and this means that less paint gets into our water and less paint gets poured down the drain. Repeat this dip, pinch, and windshield wiper technique at least a couple times to get most of the paint off the brush. Then be sure to leave your brush inside the water so that it does not dry out because if it dries out, it will ruin your brush. You're going to want to let this background dry for at least a few minutes. I'm using a hairdryer so that it dries faster. Now that my background is dry, I'm ready to paint my taco. I recommend using a size six to eight round brush to paint your taco. I'm using a yellow ochre for the taco. You can make this color by taking yellow and adding a tiny bit of brown paint to it. You could also use just plain yellow if you wanted to. Towards the middle bottom of my paper, I'm going to paint a diagonal line. This will be the bottom of my taco. Now I'm painting a simple arch that connects the ends of this diagonal line. This will make the shape of a half circle or half oval. Now I'm going to paint in my taco using a very thin coat of paint. I want it to be thin so it'll dry faster. Watch carefully, this part might be a little tricky. Starting on the bottom right corner of my taco, I'm painting a U-shaped curve. Okay, I'm ready to paint the toppings inside the taco. I'm going to start with some ground beef. I'm using a couple different shades of brown for this. For the cheese, I'm grabbing some yellow and orange paint. I'm using a very tiny brush to paint some long, thin dashes so that it looks like shredded cheese. I'm happy with how my shredded cheese looks, so I'm going to start adding some red chunks that will be the tomatoes. These are chopped tomatoes, so I'm making these shapes angular. Think triangles and rectangles. For the lettuce, I'm taking some very dark green and some yellow. I'm adding just a tiny bit of the dark green to the yellow to make a light green color. 
I'm filling in the open spaces between my cheese and tomatoes with this green lettuce color. If you get some red or orange paint on your brush, you may want to pause and carefully wipe your brush off so that you prevent these colors from blending together. I'm going back now and adding some tiny bits of dark green lettuce. Are there any toppings you want to add to your taco? You can add whatever toppings you want. And if so, now's your chance. Once you're done adding toppings, allow a few minutes for your taco to dry. I'm speeding up this drying process with a hairdryer. I want the shell of my taco to be somewhat dry before I paint a face on it. My taco shell feels pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the eyes. I've got some black paint here and I'm using a tiny round brush. Okay, now anytime I want to paint a very thin, smooth line, I should first dip my brush into the water. This makes my paint thinner, which makes it easier to paint a thin, smooth line. Trust me on this one. I'm painting two large black circles for eyes, then I'm filling in these black circles with paint. Now I'm adding a small smiley face mouth between the two eyes. If there's a different way that you wanna paint your face, that's totally fine. I'm adding a white dot inside the black eyeballs. This makes the eyes look a bit more lifelike. Now I'm using a tiny brush to add some more water to that black paint so that I can outline my taco using a thin, smooth black line. This part's optional. I'm using an even tinier brush to paint a thin line inside the edge of my taco. I messed up and made this line longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm fixing this by getting more of that taco shell color and painting over part of that black line that I don't want. This is a great way to fix any mistakes that you make. For a final touch, I'm adding some very thin black accents to my toppings to make them pop out a bit more. I hope you love how your taco turns out. You can support me and my artwork by subscribing to this channel, Rainbow Parrot Art, and please be sure to hit the like button on this video.